It's cruise season once again in Dubai, and from this October until July next year, the city is expecting 600,000 passengers to disembark on its shores. That's a 7% increase on 2015, with cruise visitor numbers rising steadily in recent years. A major focus for officials here is on emerging markets like India and China. Two years in a row now, we do a road show in, in China. So we got really good numbers of Chinese. Now, since they are uh, traveling uh, to Europe or to other states to take in the cruise lines, why not coming to Dubai to use the cruise line? The same brand, the same quality. According to government figures, in the first nine months of 2016, almost 385,000 Chinese tourists visited Dubai, a 13% rise year on year. It's now the seventh largest source market, and in September, Chinese nationals were granted visas on arrival in the UAE. The UN World Tourism Organization also says they're the world's biggest spenders when on holiday. The Chinese uh, tourists, um, really, they spend a lot of, of uh, shopping in, in, in other markets, and they see Dubai as something good brand to buy or to find the good qualities or good brands here in Dubai. Despite Dubai's efforts in promoting itself as a winter destination, experts say the very nature of cruises, with passengers hopping on and off at multiple locations, means its success may depend on others. You can't make a cruise out of one port. A cruise has to have like multiple destinations. A cruise is always built around seven days, ten days, eight days. Dubai as a hub is doing extremely great, but it has to be supported with other ports around. So when more ports are emerging and coming up as becoming a cruise destination, it's only going to strengthen the uh, cruise market in the Middle East. Yeah. The Gulf region certainly has a long way to go before it rivals the likes of the Caribbean or the Mediterranean. But officials here in Dubai see cruises as part of a wider tourism strategy that's designed to diversify the economy away from oil. That's why it's investing heavily in getting international visitors to come here, whether that's by air, land or sea. Nawid Jabakil, CCTV, Dubai.